Oh yeah, dude, that wedding with my cousin was fun, dude. He was over there on the gimbal doing his thing. I was on the tripod, dude, getting static shots. Thanks, bro, for inviting and thinking about me, dude, to help out today. But now it's time to eat. We're here at the source, bro, to try some food. I think we're gonna go ahead and try it. Korean corn dog. Let's go ahead and get some ramen and some matcha. Now, this is our first time here, so we don't know where anything is. Let's find where that Korean corn dog place is. So the other day I was rolling the Instagram, bro, and I ran up on Brittany's post of a Korean corn dog, which looked really good. So we searched for a Korean corn dog, dude, and check it out. Here at the source, they have a Korean corn dog place right behind us, bro. Now, do you guys remember the Korean corn dog at Universal Studios that was delicious? Well, this one is about to be 10 times better. So these are the corn dogs that they are gonna have here. They have the original, hot dog, they have the mozzarella sausage hot dog, mozzarella, the squid ink and mozzarella hot dog, dude. Oh, not today, not today. Bro, those corn dogs look so good. Now the prices are gonna range from $2.99 all the way up to $5.49. It all depends on the corn dog that you're getting. Hours of operations are gonna be from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Now this is the original. This one is the potato. This one right here is the sweet potato mozzarella. These look so good. But let me introduce you to the new segment, Let's Grub. Now Let's Grub will be us going around and trying different foods outside of theme parks, dude. So welcome to the first episode. So the first time we ever had a Korean corn dog was at Taste of Universal, dude. I am really looking forward to this, man, because that Korean corn dog was delicious at Universal. That thing is so good. I'm telling you, once you've had a Korean corn dog, dude, you cannot go back to a regular corn dog. Dude, they had so much sugar on that, dude. It was delightful. You have the option of sugar or no sugar on your corn dog, but I'm telling you, you got to get the sugar, dude. The sugar is what sells it for me. Now on to the potato corn dog right out there. Do you see that? That's potatoes on the outside. Let's see what this one's about. We got this one in sugar, too. I really like this corn dog right here. The potatoes on the outside, dude, remind me of like a good old breakfast hash. And the hot dog itself, dude, is an afterthought. You don't, you don't really taste the hot dog, which I kind of like in this. Now let's get in to the sweet potato mozzarella. Look at all that mozzarella. That's some ooey gooey goodness right here. That one was solid. Dude. There was so much cheese in the middle. Every single one of those, dude, a three out of three. And the price wasn't bad either. That is not bad at all for three corn dogs, dude. $14.52. Dude, I can't believe we have not been to the source before, dude. It's right down the street from Nod's Berry Farm. I mean, we pass this all the time, man, and this is our first time here. Let me tell you, man, there is a lot of foods here, so I'm pretty sure that we will be doing a lot more of Let's Grub here at the source. But now, we're looking for some ramen, dude. So we found it. Now it is on the second floor, and I'm about to murder the name of it, dude, but Yoshihiraru Ramen. Oh, cute pig of fun, dude. So. Let's go ahead, go in here, see what this ramen's about. Look at all this ramen. I'm excited to try these ramen. We're gonna go ahead and get the chicken ramen, which my mom and Eva are gonna share. And I'm gonna get that one, dude, the Takatsu Black. They also have appetizers. They have these bento boxes that are really cool and a rice bowl, man. After the ramen at the Minions Cafe, man, I am for sure looking forward to this ramen right here. Let me know in the descriptions down below if you guys have been to the source, and if you have, what places do you recommend us trying here? Oh, dude, look at that edamame. Whenever we go out, dude, we always get edamame as an appetizer. So the girls got kid ramen, and with the kids meal, they get these goizas. It's like a fried dumpling. Dude, it's so fresh and hot, man. This is delicious. It has a nice little crunch to it, and the flavor is on point, bro. Three out of three on this. Dude, I love those goizas, dude. Those things are delicious. Well, look at this salmon bento box that my mom got, dude. That thing looks killer. So, mom, how's that salmon? Salmon is very delicious. Just enough curiosity. I would definitely give it a three. 
Bro, so this is the spicy black right here, dude. Look how good this looks. These are the kids' meals right there. Just look at those ramen. They look pretty good. So this place is a real deal, bro. They got chopsticks up in here. They don't got no fork. Yes, this is so good. And the heat that is coming off of this, dude, is perfect, bro. You get a nice crunch from the bamboo shoots, dude, and the Brussels sprout. This is a very, very well-rounded ramen, dude. And this little pork fat that they have right here. I'm in heaven, dude. Those noodles are perfectly cooked, dude. If you are in the Buena Park area, dude, you gotta come down to the source, dude, and try some of this ramen. You won't be disappointed, dude. I could legitimately eat this every single day for the rest of my life. And if you like heat, this is gonna be right up your alley, dude. It's just the right amount of spice, dude. You do get that kick, but it is not overpowering where it no longer becomes fun to eat. Yeah. Those are some good ramen. But now it's time to close out the night with some desserts, dude. We heard they had a place that sells mochi here and Eva loves mochi, bro. So let's go there. We're on the third floor now, dude. This place is awesome, man. We are for sure going to be doing a lot more food reviews here at the store. Here we are at Mochi Nut, dude. Now it does say right over here, a uh, half dozen for 15 or one dozen for 30. So these are the mochis that they're gonna have today. The original, the churro, dark chocolate. We're gonna get two raspberries and one cookie monster. There's our mochi nuts. Now let's go ahead and do the original first. This is my first time having the mochi nut. Now I've had regular mochi ice cream, but let's see what this one's about. This one looks more like a donut. Bro, that was solid, man. It was really different. At first, you know, you're expecting a donut because it looks like a donut but then you get the texture of the mochi, man. You get the best of both worlds on that one. A donut and a mochi, dude, you can't go wrong with that. Dude, the source has wowed me today. Every single item that we've got here at the source has been a solid three, bro. Not one of these food items has even come close to even being thought of as a two, dude. So you're here in Buena Park, man. Just drive down the road from Knott's Berry Farm to come here to the source, dude. They got some excellent food here, man. You're not gonna wanna miss the foods that they have here at the source. And I'm looking forward to another Let's Grub video here. Dude, I would for sure get every single one of those items again, dude. So I appreciate every single one of you taking time out of your day today to come hang out with us for our new segment, Let's Grub, dude. We could not do this without every single one of you. Therefore, we're thankful for every single one of you guys. And if you haven't subscribed, dude, go ahead, go down below, dude. Consider subscribing, dude, because we'd love to have you on future adventures. You guys have a great day. We will see you next video. Deuces!